as I mentioned in the last video, uh, Ziggy's now more or less finished his training course. He's been on his training course, and this is the uh, essentially the last day of his course today. He'll get assessed tomorrow. Um, and what we what we do on the training course is introduce him to all the different kind of drugs that he'll be expected to find, and we do that gradually along the four weeks that his training course is, and we introduce him to different venues. So we take him to places that the public have access to. Um, a lot of venues we use are nightclubs and we'll use those during the day. We start off with the di different drugs on quite easy places for the dogs to find them and then as we progress we'll hide them higher up um, in pitchers and lamps, um, places like that that are harder for the dogs to find. So it's a gradual process of easy hides to start with and then they progressively get harder. We also locate drugs in cars. Um, and again, we just we start again, very, very easy hides in the cars that are easy for them to find, and then they get harder, we'll put them in the boot or we'll hide them underneath seats and uh, the dog will search the car. Once he's passed his course, um, he'll be going out doing operational drugs warrants. Uh, whenever a, a drugs warrant's executed on a, on a house, uh, the drugs dogs will go and search the house because they can search a building far more quicker and effective um, than a group of people can. So we'll be going out doing live warrants on houses. He'll also be searching vehicles um, for drugs in vehicles. What we also do is we train them to uh, search routes and open areas. So um, they can search areas of grassland and find drugs that are either buried in the ground or hidden anywhere in open areas. One of the things that we've um, trained Ziggy to do on the course is when he does find the drugs, uh, his indication to me that he's found them is he will lie down and he will look at where the drugs are hidden and that indicates to me exactly where the drugs are. Ziggy's so going to be uh, assessed tomorrow on everything that he's learnt on his drugs course and if he's successful on his assessment, which I've no doubt he will be, uh, he'll then become an operational drugs dog and we'll have a, a presentation at the end of the week where we'll be presented with a certificate and uh, from then onwards uh, Ziggy will be an operational police dog uh, throughout Cheshire.